to Omega Matters. We are back with another Be Our Guest edition of Omega Matters. We have Tess Cheng here, and she is a certified health and wellness coach of over 13 years, um, has been trained uh, as with a master's in clinical nutrition from NYU, and has lots of direct real-world experience using our Omega-3 Index test kits. So we wanted to chat with her a little bit today. Welcome. Thank you for having me on your show. How are you? We are good. good. We are good. We we wanted to, um, with the show, we wanted to talk to people who are actually using the testing with people and with themselves in the real world. And so um, first, could you tell us what, how do you work with people using the testing? What's your job and how did you kind of come into this field? It's a yeah. lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so I'm a health and wellness coach uh, based in Miami. Um, my background is nutrition. I was practicing as a nutritionist for many years. And then I switched into wellness coaching because I believe in the holistic approach. So food plays a huge part in healthy living, but other things matter too, such as sleep, stress management, exercise, social connection. Um, and uh, I mainly work with my clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis to help them um, make changes to become healthier, to um, adopt sustainable lifestyle habits. And as we know, um, healthy eating habits play a huge part, even though they're not everything, but they, you know, they really pay, play a huge role in um, how our health is in general. Um, so when I, what I do, um, I always um, try to help them to optimize their health uh, by making healthy eating habits and also to increase awareness of what they're doing and what kind of things they can do to improve on their habits. Um, and I find that a lot of people feel that Oh, um, I'm healthy. I'm, you know, I'm eating healthily. But what does that mean? And when you really dig down to it, some of the habits are actually not that healthy. Um, it's all very subjective. Mm -hmm. And, um, I believe in, um, science and I believe in, you know, seeing something concrete so that when you look at the numbers, you say, Oh, um, perhaps something needs to be improved rather than just having the idea that it's all going well. Mm -hmm. Um, and at the same time, I also um, am passionate about getting people to become their own self-advocates, their own um, health advocates, you know, to take charge of their health rather than waiting for doctors to say, oh, you need a blood work once a year. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, there are certain things you can do yourself to actually check to see what you're doing is really working. Um, and that's when the omega-3 index kits come into it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't realize, you know, because the doctors don't say you need to have your omega-3s um, tested to see how your levels are working. Um, a lot of people wear that um, of the benefits of omega-3s these days. You know, they know that fatty fish are good for you um, and they say, oh, but fish is good. But they don't, you know, a lot of them don't actually realize they can get that tested. Um, mm -hmm. And when you can actually... Get, do the test yourself at home. It makes it very easy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, you know, it's been a wonderful for my clients. Excellent. So you're um, in Miami. So I, 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 yeah, I assume ahead. you have, you know, <laughs> your people down there have access to fish more so than we do here in South Dakota. <clears throat> um, <laughs> do you often see people still have a low omega-3? Um, yes, they do. Yes, because a lot of people feel, you know, they say to me a lot, my clients say um, initially before they get themselves tested, they say, oh, I eat fish a lot. Um, what they, again, what they feel is a lot is perhaps is not enough mm -hmm. to get their level up to the optimal range. Um, and a lot of them are not supplementing, supplementing um, it with uh, supplements. And sometimes they feel um, they're reluctant to go on supplements. Mm -hmm. Um, because they say, oh, but I can do it by natural courses. So if I just eat enough fish, it should be fine. But then when they get the test done, they realize that it's not enough. You know, they need to sew something else. And if you're dining out, so very often you, you know, you have access to, say, salmon. So you end up, you know, choosing fish that's not, you know, uh, of such a high level. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it's really a good way to, as I said, to actually increase curiosity about what they're doing. Um, and, um, and some people don't like fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
lot. Like a lot. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and, and so, um, you know, then they say, um, so when they take the test and they realize that they, they can do something about it, then they say, well, perhaps it's time for me to consider taking omega-3 supplements. Mm -hmm. um, and they, and they actually quite enjoy it in a way. It's almost like, um, uh, it's fun. It's like a game to them. And mm -hmm. so they get the test done and they see the numbers and they say, hmm, it's like a challenge. Mm -hmm. Perhaps let me do something and they get myself tested again in a few months time and see if that's worked. So mm -hmm. they can see that, you know, what they do pays off. And, and it's just much better than just thinking they've eaten more fish and what's going on. They have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, uh, you know, they it, it really feel they can take charge. And I think that's really empowering. Just like a lot of um, tracking devices now, you know, for example, like CGM, um, mm -hmm. continuous glucose monitors, they can see that. And once people see the numbers, um, it really inspires um, habit changes. Yeah. And I think I was just talking to someone about this. It's not just... Um, having the number so you can have guidance on your dosage and and kind of know where you're at, but like you're talking about the motivation of mm. having a number to manage is it, it almost like depersonalizes it, like you said, makes it a game, and it's mm. easier to to work toward it because um, you have the guidance and because it's just you know what you're working towards. So I think that's great. Do you have any like uh, individual stories about somebody who's raised their levels had uh, improvements. I'm sure they're making all kinds of changes. <laughs> so it's very hard to say, yeah, oh, it's just because of the omega-3 index level. But do you have any stories, uh, uh, good stories around that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love to share those stories. Um, for example, one of my clients, he had pretty high triglycerides level mm. when we first started working together. Um, and then he took the test and he's, you know, he, According to him, he was eating fish, but probably not enough. And so he took the test and he realized that um, his level was pretty low. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that inspired him to make changes, not just with omega-3s, but also to cut down on carbohydrates, for example. Mm -hmm. um, because with food, there's only so much you can eat. Mm -hmm. And what I really enjoy about um, getting people to actually make changes is that once they notice they need to, um, for example, focus more on protein, then they're going to eat less of the other things, which might not be as healthy for you. Mm -hmm. um, and so they will eat more protein, they need more, more fish, and consequently, without them really um, knowing it, they end up eating less carbohydrates. And so uh, mm -hmm. with my client, uh, with this particular client, um, his triglycerides levels actually got down to half of what it was after wow. a few months. And once he saw that, he was really inspired to keep his habits and to mm -hmm. continue to make improvements. Um, mm -hmm. And then he ended up going to the gym more often. Um, he, you know, he, um, you know, he, he just felt empowered mm -hmm. um, to feel that at last he can actually take charge of his health and can see the positive sides of all these habit changes. Yeah. yeah. How do you, uh, when someone comes back with a, like an omega-3 index of 5%, um, how do you recommend that, how much do you tell them to take? How do you ad address that problem? Well, it depends on whether they're already taking supplements mm -hmm. um, at all um, and whether they're eating fish. So if they're not... Um, Doing either of them, I would, uh, you know, and you know, I would actually encourage them to eat more fish if they do like fish. Mm -hmm. um, besides, the fatty fish have other benefits as well, mm -hmm. not just omega threes. Yeah. Um, and um, and so they they would do more of it, and and then um, if they want to take supplements, I would say, you know, how about trying? I would suggest, you know, going on supplements and take two a day. And then we can see after three months, take the test again and to see, you know, uh, what changes that make that will yeah. make to the omega threes levels. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, very often, you know, people, you don't, we really don't know what they are doing. Um, but some people, you know, they, when they eat a lot of fatty fish anyway, when they first have the test done, even though if it's not up to 8%, it's not that low. Mm -hmm. Um, right. and, um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, 
But I saw, I find a lot of people these days still take omega threes, but then they might not be taking them correctly. A lot of them perhaps don't,、um, don't realize that they have to take them with food. You、mm-hmm. know, they're taking them on an empty stomach. Yeah. And then they wonder why the omega three level is still low,、mm-hmm. but the test tells them that you know <laughs> something they're doing perhaps can be improved. Yeah. Yeah, it's I've seen that as well, and it's really frustrating.、Uh, and I I like having an objective marker so you can dig into、mm-hmm. the details of the habits, and then if you're able、yeah. to find one thing to fix, that's really empowering. And even like changing the product you're using can help. Changing maybe you don't like taking large capsules, you can、yeah. change that. You don't have to force yourself to. Take something unpleasant all the time.、Mm-hmm. I think that's helpful. But your point about this, like nutrition, this is just one little part of nutrition. It's but it's a small win that is pretty in the grand scheme of health and wellness habits that you have to change. This one is is pretty small and targeted.、Um, imp- like increasing fish intake could be a good small challenge. Like you switch out one meal so you have. Fish once a week, and then add that, or you start finding a good supplement, and you take that. And how you said that just builds and gives them some amount of confidence to make the bigger changes down the line. And I think that that is what makes this a really useful tool for like a health and wellness coach that looks at everything more holistically. But this is really a very targeted, nutrient specific、um, test that fits into the picture of the overall wellness. So I think that's. That's a really good use for it. Definitely, and what I love about it is that I、um, uh, I'm a fan of sardines. Yes, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> That's like the、um, biggest hack is、yes. eating sardines. But a lot of people might not be, or they might not even、yeah. think about getting、yeah. you know, having sardines.、Um, and that's what I love about the test so much is that it somehow ta- you know. Gives them an idea of what they need to do, and、mm-hmm. then I can bring in other habits. For example, you know, if they're out a lot, they're traveling. A lot of my clients are business people, so they're、mm-hmm. attending conferences, traveling, going on the plane. So they're not necessarily eating at home. But then、mm-hmm. I say with sardines,、um, you know, you can have them with you. You can keep a can with you.、Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it might not. You know, it might be a bit fishy, but you know, <laughs> but it's handy. It's something you can do when you're outside.、Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, if you realize that your omega three levels need to be improved, that's a good way to build in the habit. Yeah, yeah. just don't open that can of sardines <clears throat> on the airplane. No, <laughs> <laughs> I actually have done that personally. <laughs> that's well, that's, that's rough. rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, the, the、um, tinned fish、yeah. are such an easy win for you know it's a protein snack, omega three snack. It's right there. It's already cooked.、Uh, if you can learn to like them and find the right recipes, I think that's such、Taylor. a good good way to do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah,、mm-hmm. um, I've done workshops and presentations, and very often if I'm doing、um, a presentation on heart health or brain health, I always talk about sardines, and then I mention about the omega three index test that、mm-hmm. people can do because really a lot of people out there still don't realize that they can actually get that tested themselves. I know. Right. That's why we're doing this. We have been. Get the word <laughs> out. We are very aware of. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and、um, it's easy, it's quick, it's affordable, so it's it's wonderful. That's what we're trying to we're trying to keep it that way, so it's accessible to as many people as possible.、Um, and so we're really glad that you've had success using it. We appreciate it, and、um, thanks for sharing your stories and experiences today. My pleasure. It's been、um, you know it's been wonderful、uh, having、yeah. this discussion with you. Great. You, well, thank you so much, Tess, and we will be back next time on Omega Matters. Thanks for listening.